Grand Rising Brave Awakened Ones, QV here. Archangels Jermiel and Uriel have me on a heck of a busy schedule, <laughs> I have to say. All for great things, all for great things, for the good of all, for the good of myself and for the good of all. Um, for a time such as this, God has sent them. They are the angels God is speaking of in Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is the psalm that you must keep in your heart, keep in your mind, print out, have it in your face 24 seven while we're going through a time such as this, right? Uh, through the threshing floor, the threshing floor, I was also told is the time of the great revealing, revealing of the truths um, that has been hidden from us that the dark ones have been hiding behind that Archangel Uriel is in charge of revealing not only the truths in the macro, but also the truths in the micro, which a lot of people, you know, that's why they say, you know, when the truth comes out, it's going to blow a lot of people's minds and they're not going to make it through the threshing floor. They're going to choose to leave even before that, which is why so many people are losing loved ones. I know it's rough. I was given my own time schedule and order in which the ones in my life are going to leave. Um, and it is coming to fruition. I know many who have lost both their parents in a very short amount of time. And of course, sympathy out to you. It's very difficult to deal with, of course. Um, but as a light worker, as a righteous one, as a chosen one, um, I'm hope I'm hoping you're able to deal with it better. And um, to respect the autonomy of the soul of your loved ones. Okay. There's only so much we could do. And like I said, I'm in that situation where I have loved ones too who got the uh, stick, who are very lost in wokeness and everything. So um, that is what actually is triggering this video. I was, I don't get much sleep, but I got like a good four hours. For me, that is excellent. Um, so I was just thinking, I was like, gee, what else can I possibly do to help? Those who are stuck in wokeness, those who are stuck in fear in the darkness, what can I do to help? What else can I possibly do to help them? And also I was thinking, you know, I'm expecting my, my rewards, uh, you know, I'm expecting financial turnaround, you know, but it's like time is getting short. And if you go listen to my previous videos, especially the ones from yesterday, chapter 13, of uh, Ezra, book two, chapter 13 of Ezra is very clear of the times we're in right now. And um, the year and a half that we have to be setting up our pockets of heaven. And it starts in June. So it's like, okay, it's almost June. I know I'm being kept and I'm grateful and I see others being kept also, but you know, we need that, we need that boost. And then I was given, um, I saw a flash of number 32 and number 29. Okay. I made this post this morning for the number 32, but then I was told by Archangels Jermiel and, and Uriel, you, you, you need to do more than that. It, it would be good for you to make a video so more people can see the so they can see and hear the good news because we bring good news. Okay. So with the number 32, because at first when I looked up the numbers, it was like this, right? A little bit add here, but as you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You don't see anything, right? But then I was told to go back at a certain time and look at my phone. And then this came up. I was told, scroll down. And here's the message for you. And no, it's not the car bed. It is this. This meme right here. And then when I looked up the meme, this is what it was right here this is from psalm 91 verse 4 he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge 
And to add to that, I'm going to read to you uh, this verse also. Um, this is nine, starting verse nine. If you say the Lord God is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, which is your, your pocket of heaven, which is your little bubble of heaven. And your tent covers your loved ones, whoever chooses to join you. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Uriel and Jeremiel said, we are those angels. We are the angels for a time such as this to call on us. And I was also told, call on them for my loved ones, for those who, you know, you're praying for that make it, that awaken and ascend to call on them because Uriel is the angel of wisdom, the angel of truth, God's truth. So he's the one here bringing out the truth. So bringing out the truth in the micro and the macro. And, and uh, Jeremiel is about all the life review, finding your life path, your highest and your best. And also, Jeremiel is the one that ushers the souls in between the narrow straits through the eye of the needle, through the tribulation, through the, the threshing floor. Okay? So he's there to help with that. And Uriel gives me a feminine energy, where Jeremiel gives me a masculine energy. That's what I keep feeling with them. Uriel has a more feminine energy and Jeremiah, like I'm feeling right now, my heart, my upper heart and Jeremiah and Jeremiah has more masculine energy. Um, any which ways. So let's go and I, I'll just read briefly from Joanne Sacred Scribes, which is where I was guided. My older sister and I were guided back in 2012 to go to for answers. The energies and, and um, attrib attributes combine to bring, that's number 33 and 2. The energies and attributes combine to bring us to number 32, which represents society, communication, partnership, duality, and balance. The angel number 32 indicates that the angels and ascended masters are assisting you in your life and are promoting faith, love, tr and trust within yourself and in your relationships with others. Angel number 32 is a message from your angels that you are to keep your faith and connection with them strong and clear as you progress along your current path. So as we progress through this time, through this age that we're in right now, to keep them close. And these are the two angels that are, that are here on earth to assist with this. Uriel and Jeremiel, and um, that's why yesterday, today it's much, much better. Like they said to me, your eyes will adjust to us because it was, so, it got so intense, the brightness, even though it was drizzling outside and it was cloudy, it got so bright. Their light got so bright. I had to wear a baseball cap and sunglasses. That's how intense it got. And that is 7, 730 in the evening. I was doing that. Okay. 730 in the evening. I was doing that. So our eyes will adjust to them, all right, which it, it has. My eyes are adjusting. I'm still like squinting, but it's not yes, like yesterday where it was absolutely like almost unbearable for me to see. And also, yeah, by the way, one of the most unpleasant side effects of these, of these grounding in these energies to me is the weight gain. I weighed myself yesterday at GNC and I thought it was just 15 pounds, but yo, I'm like, oh my God, I have a lot more weight to lose than I even thought because I was like, I, my fat pants, quote unquote, as I call them, my shorts, I went to try them on and they wouldn't even close on my hips. I was like, whoa, whoa, what, what? These are my fat pants. Now I'm getting a loud ring in my ear. That's Uriel, the truth. <laughs> I was like, these are my fat pants. What the heck? Am I in stretchy pants mode? So, yes, I'm in stretchy pants mode. <laughs> it's not just the freshman 15. It's not the Ascension 15 like I thought. Um, it's a lot more than that. It's the, it's the, the, the Ascension 2025. So, but myself and uh my number two as i call her you know she was like she was told 
very clearly because we're both trying to work out and want our diet through the back pain, the strange back pain, which has to do with grounding in the energies for, for financial abundance to, to build our pockets of heaven. If some of you have that also, um, it's the lumbar pain. And it's like right above your hip bone and it's right on the spine. It could be to the left and to the right. Like right today, it's like right to the left. It's to the left of my lumbar spine, right above my, between my hip and my lumbar spine, but it's right there. It's radiating around there. Um, I can't even do my full yoga because it hurts and no medication. I, I did acupuncture, electroacupuncture, acupressure. I tried my crystals, um, everything, reflexology, heat, cold, tiger bomb. Nothing makes it go away. It just is. And the same thing for the weight. It just is. For those of you who have to ground in that financial energy like I do, it just is, okay? And uh, she was told that once it is done, the weight will just drop off. And I've experienced that before. I experienced that a few months ago where I wasn't doing anything. And it's like within a, a week, it was like 10 pounds was gone. I was like, whoa, I'm not doing anything. In fact, I ate some organic Dorito, not Dorito chips, but tortilla chips. I made myself some guacamole. I was like, wow. Okay. Um, but I've been eating raw. Okay. The only thing besides raw fruits, well, very little fruits, so very little berries. I haven't had that in a week. And raw veggies that I've been eating is a, a small piece of fish here and there. And my, my pea protein shake, which I was told would be good for me to have. So I'm like, you know, ugh. I know it's difficult y'all. I know it's difficult, but Apparently, that's just going to drop off when we're done doing what we got to do, you know. So hang in there. Stay toned, you know, because once it drops off, you, you want to be toned, you know. Uh, and I know it's difficult to, to do through all the ascension pains when you got your head feels like explode. Like right now, your ear, my ears, the sound just is like just I just it just hit like high again because they're talking to me. Um, so, quote unquote, talking. I know it's difficult, but. Push through it, man. Your soldiers push through it. Any which ways. So you have the 32 here. And I don't want to read the whole thing, but you guys could read it. Okay. The, the link it will be in the description. Number 32 brings a message that your positive attributes, optimism, and faith have attracted positive circumstances and energies into your life that will manifest opportunities for you to fulfill aspects of your divine life path and soul mission. Trust that you are being supported and guided along the way and look upon these opportunities with enthusiasm as they are positive steps or step or steps in the right direction. Angel number 32 is a message that you are working in alignment with the energies of the ascended masters and they are helping you and guiding you through your next life steps and actions. Maintain a diplomatic, harmonious, and caring attitude towards others, and you will find that all you need will fall into place for you in divine right time. Remember this line right here, because it connects to number 29, which was the other number that was given to me right after the 32. It was like flash, flash. That's how it comes. Remember, Maintain a harmonious and caring attitude towards others, and you will find that all you need will fall into place for you in divine right time. Angel number 32 is a message to do with faith and trust in yourself, the angels, and the universal divine energies. Extremely important, okay? So that's number 32. <clears throat> and then number 29 was the other number and by the way okay so this was 29 by the way see the angel the psalm 91 angel wings are there and then this is 32 so that's why i was i was guided there and there's the confirmation of it and the the words from i have goosebumps like crazy now the words from psalm 91 directly talking about the angel, you know, being covered in God's feathers and God's feathers represents the angels who are here to guide us and protect us and deal with this entire age, the, the time we're in such as now. 
Okay. So 29, which by the way, also I kept hearing 29, 29, 29. So did my, my, my number two, my Mr. Spock, she kept hearing, she got 29 also and looked it up on Monday. And I was like, what's the significance of 29 and 29 today, Wednesday, the 19th, which was another number I kept seeing 91, 919, which she happened to text me at 919. Um, is, is connected to today, Wednesday. Today is a very interesting day and activations occurring today and has to do with, <clears throat> well, for me, my natal chart, Jupiter is in 29 degree of Leo for me and my natal chart. And today, the half moon, and I had said before, I don't know, no, I, I didn't say it with you guys, that's right, I said it with my Patreons. We must watch the switchovers of the of the lunar energy when it's going from when it's going from uh, full to new and new to full. That switchover point it is very significant because it's it's uh, signifying to us the switching over of the energies. OK. So the switchover of the energy happens today and it's at 29 degrees of Leo. And that is where my Jupiter is, but also that is where the moon is, 29 degrees of Leo, and it's correlated to where Jupiter is right now, which is two degrees of Pisces. I'm a double Pisces. So any which ways, but I was just given that um, because it's an important point for myself and for all, all who have an ear to hear. So don't think, oh, that's not my natal chart has nothing to do with me. Yes, it does. I'm just the messenger of it, okay? So it has to do with what Jupiter does. And it's this activation of Jupiter when it comes to finances. I The, the direct message I was told that went with 29 was, you're in the time of miracles. I was like, okay. And, and I was told, expect to see miracles. Oh, I have crazy goosebumps right now expect to see miracles you're in the time of miracles along with the other stuff that Jermiel and Uriel are doing at, at this time is also working with these energies to bless us to for the miracles to come through okay so the most important line I was guided to you guys could read the rest of this I'll put the link in the description but this is what I was told was the most important thing angel number 29 also suggests that if you have lost quote unquote something of late your angels are indicating that the universe is manifesting something positive for you to take its place this may be related to a situation or circumstance that may be coming to an end trust that a wonderful new beginning and or direction is indicated for you. So don't think I lost my car keys. It's about losing a relationship. Uh, and since this is connected to finances, I was told, losing a job, losing your business. Okay. Even if you had quit your job, it's still a loss. So we're in the time of miracles. And today, that 29 degrees where the half moon is, is switching over to the full moon. And it's also being activated by the eclipse energies that's going to happen on the 26th. It's all correlated together. And this is this is a start date of, of it. So expect to see miracles and blessings. We're entering the time of miracles. And it all depends on your perspective on how you see it also. You know, uh, you could walk in tomorrow. And be like, nope, we're closing down the business. And I know it's difficult to deal with. You know, have your moment of freaking out. But then go back to this. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings, you will find refuge. And then read the rest of Psalm 91. And understand who and what you are. And don't fall victim to the illusions that are surrounding us because it's all illusions. 3D is all a horrible nightmare. Okay, understand that. And Jermiel and Uriel are here to rip, well, Uriel is here to rip down those curtains of illusion in the micro, 
meaning your personal life and the macro. What's going on globally. Okay, just remember that. All right, guys. So, yep, that's it. I think that was it. All right. Much love. See ya. I have no idea how many more videos I have to make for that. I didn't even expect to make this one. But much love, guys. Later.